Hello, this is Ronnie Bincer and Trevor Beck, and we're doing a little presentation to talk about how Google Drive and Hangouts, the app within Google Drive, is not really very good for presentations. It's great for other things like collaboration, and that's one of the things we're going to try to demonstrate for you right here. We're going to follow this up, and if you click right there, there's going to be an annotation eventually that you can go jump to the other video we shall be talking about what's a good way to make presentations work utilizing Google Drive but not in the same way that you might expect so we're gonna give you that as a follow-up to this video but let's get started Trevor why don't you guide me through this process of using Google Drive for the various things that we can do inside the Google Drive as well as inside Hangouts Okay, Ronnie. Um, what we've uh, started off by doing is uh, I've created a folder with three documents, Google Documents. So I've got a word processing document in there. I have a spreadsheet, and I also have a presentation. And I've shared those with Ronnie right now. So at this point in time, we're not going to deal too much with the uh, permissions and stuff. Those will all be a uh, flow through naturally. But we will talk a little bit about that later. I'm going to start off by doing a screen share with my Google Drive page. So this is Google Drive outside of the Hangouts. So if you're in your Gmail or, or whatever, you've got the Google Drive link at the top here, you can click on that. And that will bring up whatever documents you have. In this case, we're looking at these three folders of these documents. Uh, this is the first item that we're looking at. And it's our document that we have called Sherlock Holmes. Ronnie and I both have access to this document. So it's one document in the cloud, and Ronnie and I are both um, sharing it and, and, and are able to access it. Trevor, that's because you created it and then gave me permission to edit it, right? That's correct. So by default, it starts off at the beginning of the document. And a lot of people kind of look at this and go, well, this is how we do a presentation. The way it works, though, is that at any time with any of these documents, we can edit any part of the document at the same time. The collaboration part of these documents are, are amazing because I can share it with you and I can work on a, a section. Later on in the night, Ronnie can go and work on a section, or we both can work on uh, the document at the same time. Now, as I mentioned before, by default, we start off at the very top here. Ronnie, I'm going to ask you, uh, you've got the same document on your screen right now, correct? Yes, on my computer, yeah, not on, not on the Hangout inside yet. That's correct, right. So can you select a new color font, and at the very top there, can you start typing some, some new text? Okay, to do that and make everybody see it, I'm going to disappear and do a screen share of the tab that has this document open inside Google Drive. Is that what yep. you're wanting me to do, right? That's correct. Okay, so let me find it in my screen share stuff and click and looks like I'm there. So I am at the, you're saying you want me to do it at the top, right? Where it says Sherlock Holmes? That's, that's correct. Okay, so I'm gonna just to make it easy, I'm gonna, here it is, is what I'm typing. I'll change the color of that so that it's obvious that this is me. Oops. Okay. I just dragged and moved things. I didn't mean to. That's all right. Let's select it. I'll choose a drop-down color. I'll, I'll use a nice bright red. So here it is. Ronnie. And just keep on typing. And while Ronnie's typing, I'm going to switch back to my screen. So that here is the same document. Uh, as Ronnie types, I can see uh, the name or that's associated with this account as he keeps on typing. Now, what's kind of fun with this is that because Ronnie's typing there, I can actually scroll down, and I'm going to scroll down on my document, and as Ronnie keeps on typing, I'm going to add a different color uh, for my text. So again, we can also see, and I'm going to pick some kind of a green thing here, and I will also be typing as we work on this document. Okay, so Ronnie, you can stop. And I'm just going to okay. scroll to. I'm going to scroll to the top of my page, and Ronnie, Ronnie's information is still there. And in fact, as he's been, as I've been adding text, he's been adding text. Google updates the document at the same time. So right. this is really great. I mean, one of the nice things about that is that we can now. Uh, I'm going to turn my screen share off. Um, we can now at any time take a Google document when we can work on it, and it can be 
I mean, you can share it with 10 people, 50 people, 100 people. Um, there's some great stuff on YouTube, if you take a look, where um, a document was uploaded and made available to a university class to describe what it means for their future. Like, what do they see? What does the future mean to them? And there was, at one time, there was 300 people editing a document. Wow. Which is really wild to watch it. Of course, you've got people sitting there going and um, you know deleting stuff and, and adding stuff in. But one of the, the nice things about the Google Docs is that you can see who's added what. Uh, I'll just do a quick screen share again on my, my document. Okay. And make sure you blue box what you're doing so that yep. if I happen to make a comment, it won't take over the screen. Okay, great. Okay. So it's blue box. But if I go into the file here, I can take a look at C revision history. And here we can see by time what changes were made. So I can look in here, and Ronnie had added this at 918 at this point. Ronnie had added a little more text, and as I scroll down, uh, some green, uh, you can see the green where I am. So you actually get to see the revisions. So you don't have to do the emailing back and forth. You don't have to wonder who's got the most up to date version. It's, it's on the cloud, it's in Google's got it in their drive. That's the most up-to-date version. Okay, but the, because we're trying to point out that this is not good for presentation, we might want other people to be reading the same document kind of in presentation mode, but the problem is I have to load that up. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're not there yet. We're just sharing, we're, we're just sharing our screens. My bad. I was jumping ahead. No, that's okay because it, okay. it's exciting stuff. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like what, what Ronnie was talking about, the next step then is let's take a look at the Google Drive app that's available to us in the Hangouts. It's okay. the same thing. Um, well, let, and this let, is where a lot of people... This. Let's do this. I share my screen of my Hangout window, okay? And then you guide me through the processes. Would that work for you? Sure. Okay, so let me, let me do that while you go ahead and set it up. I think okay. I have to... Um... I'm now sharing my screen, and if you blue box it, Everybody out there watching can see it, I hope. Okay, yep. Okay, so what so is it that I'm changing? Go I'm the, going here to the drive. Google Drive, yeah. Okay, so I click on that. Now, what happens here is Google Drive will show you your drive. You just need to go in and select the items that you want to bring into the Hangout. So, so this should Google I choose where it says recently share or shared with me? Oh, maybe? shared with me just for the heck of it. Okay. Now, family budget, and, samples for Google Drive, and it's in the, you shared with me a folder called samples for Google Drive, right? Right. Is there an icon beside that to, to, or a, a checkbox? No, there isn't. That? Okay. So it's, it's looking, so why don't you double click or click on that? I just click on that, and there is yeah. the three documents. Okay. Now select the, or checkbox the three documents. All three what we're, Yeah. Because what we're doing is we're saying, uh, of all my documents that I have available in Google Drive, Mm-hmm. These are the ones I want to actually make part of the Hangout. Okay, so I've checked all three, and then I'll click Select. Correct. Right? Okay. Now, and what happens is those should be, there we go. So they've all now, now come in. I get a notice saying that uh, Ronnie has added these three documents, and it prompts me to use the Google, hang, or sorry, the uh, Google Drive document as well. The Google Drive app. Sorry, Google Drive app, yeah. Right, okay. And, and here's a really cool thing. So you're, you're looking at an editing window right now. I still have that document open for sharing on my side. So right. watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still, if you go back down to where my green is. Okay, there's your green. Yeah. I have more. Whoops. My mouse is not working. There we go. Let's try this again. So what's happening here is you are outside of the Hangout going right on your drive, Google Drive, and you're editing the document there, I'm seeing the changes live inside the Hangout app. That's correct. Of the same document. Because because all this Google Drive app is, is basically a window that looks into your Google Drive. So okay. that document lives in the cloud where we're both accessing it. I'm just accessing it slightly different than the way, the way you're accessing it. So one of the phenomenal things about this, which is hard for me to show because we can't share it properly, is I can see your face up here. Yes. And so you can be talking to me, guiding me through this document and making modifications to it um, and potentially making a presentation with it. But the catch is I can scroll anywhere I want. In other words, I'm controlling my view of the document 
you as a presenter are not. And That's that correct. And actually, every participant who who shares this document is controlling their view the way uh, of the document. And that's a good point, to, a really important point to the, of, of all of this. It's your view of the one document that we all have access to. So let now, me turn off my screen share just for a second and bring up the, the, the issue. Because <laughs> uh, the issue is if I'm doing a presentation, which I used to do this for a living. I used to teach people how to use programs like Photoshop and stuff like that. If I'm doing that and I'm making a presentation, I don't want everybody in the class going to different parts of the document just because they're interested in that part. When I'm trying to help them understand the top part, I want everybody looking at the top part, and I don't want to feel like I'm in a fourth, fifth grade class saying, okay, now everybody, please scroll to the top and don't go anywhere else because that, you know, that gets a little old. So right. that's why I think this is great for collaboration, but not so great for presentation per se. Cor yeah, correct. Because you don't have any control over where people are working on it. Now, because it's a great collaboration tool, um, we can, if, if we're, let's say this is a meeting and someone needs to take notes for the meeting, mm -hmm. then that, that someone could go in and uh, start up a new, uh, create a new document and to do all the meeting notes. So you can have one person act as the secretary and mm -hmm. everyone else can, can watch and look on. And if you need two people to do the secretarial work, you could have two because right. you could have one person who's going to, I'm going to look after Bob, everything Bob says, and the other person says, I'll look after everything Jim says. Right. And then we can just, you know, we have our own two sections within the document and we'll put it all together afterwards. Right. And another beautiful thing about this collaborative tool is the fact that I can see your face, you can see my face while we are creating the document together. If, if only one of us has the Google Drive doc, up right because oh, I that's right. You during didn't, that time you didn't open it up inside. inside no, if if, if if both of us have the Google Drive open and the Google Drive app inside the Hangout open, we still can see each other's faces while we are working on the document at the same time. Right, that's right. And so that's what I think it's a phenomenal collaboration tool because the communication that we have going back and forth while we're both collaborating is enhanced by the fact that we've got video thumbnails. I mean, that's, that's a phenomenal way to work on a document together, I think. Well, especially if, when someone says, well, I guess that's okay, yeah. but you know, you know there's a problem somewhere, so you can address it right there and then. Right. Yeah. So let's, let's go back to the Google Drive for a second. Um, do you want to screen share your Google Drive? All right, so the Google Drive outside of the Hangout, right? That's where no, I'm going? No, sorry, within the, within the Hangout. We're going to stick within the Hangout for now. Okay, so I'm all right. So I will screen share my view of the Hangout interface right there. So you should be right. seeing it now. And I'm going to blue box you here. Okay. So let's let's take a look at the uh, family monthly budget, the next file. Okay. Okay. So um, as you can see, we've actually got two sheet or two workbooks here. We've got Mickey's budgets and Goofy's budget, and Down I'm here going at the bottom. to yeah. I'm going to click on Goofy's budget. So we can see that it's it's empty. Go to Mickey's. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into Google Drive. I'm going to go into the family budget. And you can do your budget work on, your, on Mickey's side. I'm going to do the Goofy's budget. And let's see if our wages uh, come anywhere near what we think they should be. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we'll do wages. Let's see for Mickey. Um, Mickey's doing well this year. Okay, and let's also um, also go into um, well, actually that's good enough. So so you've added okay. what well, he did really well. So go look at Goofy's budget now. Okay, so I'm on Mickey's. He's making one hundred twenty thousand a year. Goofy is making <laughs> three hundred. Oh, this is monthly expense. Sorry. Uh, yep. 3000 a year. So, yeah, we're seeing different. I'm seeing you made a change, and you're probably seeing on your end the fact that I made a change. Yeah, and again, this just demonstrates that um, that it, it's each individual has their own individual view of the file. Right. Okay. So, again, so, great for collaboration, not so hot for presentation. That, Gui that, guided presentation, let's say. That, that's correct. So why don't we go in and do the last one. Let's look at the presentation document. 
Okay, I'm just clicking on it right now. Should be showing up. Now I'm going to bring up the presentation document on uh, my screen share for a second because I want to show the the differences here. So I'm going to blue box mine. Okay, so I'm staying on my screen share of the presentation document yep. within the Hangout interface, and yours that's is correct. just straight on the drive. That's yeah. that's correct. So the big change here that you're not going to see in the Hangouts is the link here that says present, because that's a whole different thing. That takes it past the collaboration, right? So up in the top we see the present and there's a couple of different options here of how to present. So we'll go back to your screen. Okay. And there's no place for you to do the present. Uh I'll look under view. There's a thing that says present. Oh. <laughs> I well, don't you know, I'm not trying to break it, but <laughs> I was just poking. I poke well, at things. <laughs> okay. Um because I didn't see that there before. As as we were talking earlier, they 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 they've made changes from this afternoon till to this evening. There's some well, you know, because we're planning on doing a whole separate video just dealing with the presentation tool. How mm -hmm. about we not look at that right now? We just okay. talked about what you were planning on talking about. Yeah, P pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. So what? I, but again, let's take a look at here. Can you go to um, the, the fifth slide there? The fifth slide. Yes. Click yep. on it. Sure. Okay. So. You are going to be doing some entry of, in, of information there, if you would. All right, my name. I'm going to change that. Your name here. Okay. And then my favorite color. Sure. Because um, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just going to type in blue. I'll do it all caps because it's easier to see. Okay, so and while you were doing that, if you take a look at slide one, I actually had gone in and made some changes as well. Okay. Now, one thing that's 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 kind of cool, and I don't know if, if uh, everyone else noticed that there's by your name, or sorry, by that slide one, you'll see there's a, um, yeah, that there. So that indicates that's me. If I happen to go down to slide four and start making some changes you can see another indicator pop up there in green. Right. So if, if there's three or four people working on, on a, a slideshow, um, you, can, you can tell what they're actually working on because the color kind of indicates who's working on what slide. So it's, again, it's a collaboration is a tool uh, aspect right. of this. allows everyone to do work on whatever section they want to work on. Now, with this being a presentation tool, um, and we're pointing out that the Google Drive Hangout app is not for presentations. The same thing applies here, right? Meaning I can be looking at slide one while you're talking as a presenter. You're talk wanting me to be looking at slide three, but I don't care. I'm looking at slide one, and that's going to be a problem for the presentation method. That's correct. So it, again, is a great tool for collaboration. Is there anything else we want to show here right now, or are we kind of wrapping this, this up? I think, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the important... Um, part that we want to talk about or, or have everyone understand is Hangout Toolbox collaboration. That's the primary purpose of it, working with you, the different you people mean the editing. You hangout, hangout apps? Sorry. The, the Google, Google Drive app within the Hangout. That's what is, I said. Listen to said what hangout. I'm thinking. Listen to yeah, what I'm okay. thinking, not what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. uh, but yes, Ronnie is correct. I was talking about the Google Drive app within Google Hangout. Excellent. So <laughs> let me do this. I'm going to point to a fictitious area that later on we're going to put in an annotation link that will allow you to go right from this video to the next one, which is going to be talking about more details with the presentation tool within the Google Drive set of applications. And a trick or a method that we've determined is a better way to use that tool for a real live presentation. After that, we're going to have a final Q&A session, which is inside the event that you might be looking at this video in, in right now, where we're going to go into even further detail of methodologies within the presentation tool as part of your Google app, using it inside of a Hangout, but not in the way that you might be expecting. Is that right?